Hey everyone, Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. Hope you're doing well. And it is time for, I, I hope you guys are ready for this. I don't even know if I am. Uh, we're doing a raw in the moment reaction to the brand new Eminem kickoff freestyle shot on location at the shelter at St. Andrews in Detroit, Michigan. Uh, yeah, let's just see where this goes. I've read a few headlines about it. I did give it a shout out in the recent weekly track roundup, but I have not digested or listened to the whole thing in full because I kind of wanted to save that for this video. So here we go. Okay. Um, <laughs> before we get into this, just with that intro, because uh, I, I have to think about and comment on everything. That's my job. Okay. Don't get pissed off. Um, so Eminem sort, of, Eminem sort of starts things off talking about how battle rap, what it is, what's the point of it, nothing's off limits. I mean, there's really nothing about what Eminem just said that I disagree with, honestly. In fact, I strongly agree with everything Eminem just said. So why have I stopped this to make a comment and make a point? Well, um, I mean, maybe this is the ethos and this is the mindset Eminem approaches every song and album with. Uh, certainly it might seem that way. I mean, we've heard interview clips and, uh, um, I, I guess discussions with Eminem in the past where he has talked about, yeah, I've, I've pulled back on some stuff I would like to say or intended to say because I felt like it went too far and so on and so forth. So clearly Eminem personally has like a line that he doesn't want to cross. So I don't know, uh, uh, how much he holds to, this right here that he's talking about that, yeah, destroy, obliterate everything, nothing's off limits, yes. You know, I mean, I, I agree with what he's trying to get to here, but this is not a battle rap situation. This is a freestyle. So how exactly is this freestyle going to go over if Eminem is trying to kick what's essentially a battle rap, but there's no opponent here? It's just kind of him like, alone in a room with a few of his friends and it's just kind of going from there. So I feel like maybe what we might be in for here is, is a little out of context, maybe a little bit like a fish out of water, who knows, but I guess we will see. Here we go. Let's kick off the kickoff. Okay. I mean, a lot of cool little internal rhymes and patterns in that one. Um, Eminem in a way kind of talking about how deplorable of a person that he is and, uh, the, the dark thoughts that, as he said, sort of intervene in his head. Um, I guess it's an interesting way to kick this freestyle off and, and paint exactly the lyrical tone that he's going to be going for, uh, especially since, uh, he sort of seems to be making some Islamic regime, uh, jabs in the very next bar. So, uh, it, it doesn't take, a Eminem very long to start prodding, to start prodding in this freestyle. <laughs> I'm not going to finish that for obvious reasons. I mean, I feel like you just already went there. You, you know, how, like, what would finishing it entail? I mean, you could probably get more graphic about the explosion and so on and so forth, but you've already overtly referenced... Uh, the the terrorist attack that went down at the Ariana Grande concert so long ago. So, I mean, you're already there. You know, I'm, I'm not pushing Eminem to go further, but uh, I think it's funny that he's, I'm not going to finish that for obvious reasons. I mean, you're, you, you've, you've really crossed the line already. You know, <laughs> what's, what's crossing the line for Eminem at this point? I'm, I'm not really sure, but uh, he, he seems to kind of dive further into this point in the next few lines. <laughs> what? Okay. I mean, yeah, again, I feel like this is like, who, who's the intended audience for this? Who, who are you attacking? What are you making fun of? Like, what's, it, what's your intended target here? Um, are you just like trying to poke fun at Islam? Are you just trying to like, you know, throw some sexist shit out there to sort of just get people shocked over it? I mean, listen, I'm, I'm not like 100% against everything Eminem says and does. Um, that Trump freestyle that he did a while back, I thought was great. Uh, I certainly gave it tons of praise. Uh, but so far, I'm kind of lost on exactly what 
his focuses for this new freestyle over here it just kind of seems like he's pulling from a bunch of random sensitive areas and just being like a boom a boom a boom a boom and just like trying to be uh, as annoying as possible but uh, we'll continue yeah eminem with a pair of crotchless underwear would certainly land him a spot on the terrorist watch list i think uh seeing eminem in, in that in that fit uh would certainly qualify as terrorism <laughs> that line's actually pretty funny getting head in the sand like an embarrassed ostrich i, I do like that one that's that's a it's probably the funniest bar so far professional shit sprayer i'll say bitch watch who you talking to like apple wrist wear oh god what that was stupid that was st <laughs> <laughs> bitch watch who you're talking to like apple wrist wear uh uh you know that's there's there's some bars that just give you indigestion you know the, the embarrassed ostrich it was cute it was endearing it was funny but what that's ugh. ugh ugh please give me something that'll wash my mouth out yeah. Ew. <laughs> this is disgusting. Okay. So, I mean he's dropping some real gross incel bars here, but let's let's see where he's uh where he's going from here. Let's see where he's going from here. Ew. <laughs> it's if she breaks free, she'll just sit there. I can't believe we're just two minutes into this. I can't believe we're just two minutes into this thing. Oh, okay. Let's see if it, it's probably going to get worse from here. It's probably going to get worse from here. Trying to scrape up enough courage and strength to get up. It's impossible. Like a slut. Okay, come on, man. You know, I mean, he probably did censor that part for, for YouTube. But the thing is, like, I, I feel like this is once again an example of, like, Eminem, he wants to say and do all this edgy shit, but then he'll edit himself or he'll have to be edited. And I don't know. It just sort of seems like back in the day, it just sort of seemed like he was no holds barred. These days, I mean, I really don't know what the hell Eminem wants to do. You know, it, it sort of seems like his style and his aesthetic and his messaging is just like fitting a square peg into a round hole in 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 2018 and and i i sympathize with the guy in in the interview that he had with sway he's always talking about how well it seems like every time uh when i zigged i should have zagged and it it is tough you know i i sympathize with uh the position that he's in because i'm certainly sure it feels like that he can't do anything right but uh so far it does not really really feel like he's doing anything right <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I guess that's the first, the first verse there. Uh, I don't know why they sort of cut and I mean they cut literally, and I I guess this is another take over here of another verse. I don't know if there will be another cut later in the track, but uh, I, I I guess I'll forgive that. It's not a sort of complete uninterrupted freestyle i guess but still like man those are the those are some strong bars for the for the age of me too <laughs> those are those are definitely not a, a fitting for the age of me too eminem's really uh, uh g going against progress on this one i guess um uh, I, I guess I'm not really sure what to say about it outside of that, uh, given the current social climate, it's edgy. You know, I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's um, all that smart or speaking truth to power or really kind of like um, poking at people's sensitivities that uh, in, in such a way where it causes them to think about why they're sensitive, you know what I mean? Or... Um, uh, or why they care about the subject matter, or whether or not they're uh, uh, kind of investing or wasting their time uh, in something that uh, uh, th there, there's no real point in, in worrying yourself over. Uh, I just feel like Eminem is just seeking to uh, uh, to piss people off here, and and maybe that's really what he's been doing all along, and it's it's only been accidental. 
<laughs> that that his previous records, um, you know, really kind of got to the heart of something. Uh, but now it just sort of seems like I don't know. The performance is decent, but uh, the the content is uh, really just kind of underwhelming. But hey, uh, we're still only three minutes and twenty five seconds of this, so let's go. Bitch, a whole team can't see me. There's no eyes in it. That's pretty. That's pretty funny. That was smart. I thought that was pretty smart. Ghostwriter bars. It's so big, I shot myself ten times and it tried to commit suicide and it took five minutes and I survived this shit. <laughs> well, you survived it, but it took five minutes. I mean, if, it, if, if you survived it, then it couldn't have taken five minutes. It was just incomplete. You know, what happened at the end of five minutes? Nothing. But whatever. Uh, let, let's keep going, I guess. When I say I have allergies, I actually do, but that's just an analogy. I've never had a reaction to you. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh shit. I mean, I, I'm really, I'm, I'm feeling mixed right now. I'm partially impressed. I like some of what he's throwing out there. I feel like a lot of what he's saying and the challenges that he's putting out there are they're going to fall on deaf ears and they're going to be lost on the new wave who really have no wish or desire to compete with or challenge Eminem in the way that he's inviting them to challenge him. Um, so so there is that. And there are some cute little bits of wordplay in here. I do love the Spitz reality uh, bar that I thought was uh, pretty smart. Uh, the only time I started movements, a bowel uh, was some classic Eminem poop humor. Uh, the the na and boo and the, uh, the na or boo uh, little delivery was uh, kind of odd. But, uh, but really what sold it for me was, um, I've never had a reaction to you. It's, uh, it's like the most impotent rage. <laughs> and, and that's really what, like, I, I don't know that that's really what's kind of like turning me off about some of this stuff that Eminem is doing lately. It just seems to be coming from this position of indignance and it's kind of annoying. It's, it's really kind of annoying. And I just, I don't get why he's so pissed. Uh, and, and I don't even know if maybe he fully understands why either. Uh, but uh, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Uh, okay. Now, look, M. I know you can rhyme anything with everything and you know you're the man who's like I could rhyme a million things with orange. But but come on man. Afternoon with hood looms. Come on dude. There, there's a million different words that you could rhyme with afternoon. You do not need to creep up with a pack of hood looms. That was that was a bit of a stretch. I was kind of stretching it. All right, so far the rhymes have been pretty solid. Regardless of the quality of the content, but you stretch that one. You stretch that one way too far. I'm a justice speaker. I'll cuss the stripes off of a fucking zebra when I'm at the zoo. <laughs> Take a breath, man. <laughs> Take a breath. <laughs> when I'm at the zoo. Ugh. I mean, as as weak of a of a of a starter line as the adjust your speaker bit was, I, I do think the uh, the cuss the stripes off a of fucking zebra when I'm at the zoo finisher was a a pretty creative uh, visual uh, there from Eminem. I did I did like that. I did like that a lot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, I'll I'll give it to him. It's funny. I'll give it to him. It's it's making me laugh. It's I feel like I'm like at a at a sixty forty right now in terms of laughing with him versus laughing at him. <laughs> but it's uh it's definitely eliciting a uh, a response. I'll I'll give it that. I gotta hear that. Oh my god! At first I was just listening to what he was saying and just kind of like mentally visualizing it but now i'm actually watching him act this out on the camera 
<laughs> and uh, it's it it really does have a uh, an even uh, uh, stronger presentation quality to it when you're really watching them uh, mimic the the G cups. <laughs> yeah. I speak tongue in cheek what you ass licks do because you love to eat, but it's sad but true. <laughs> What was that ending? It's sad, but true. I'm sad. <laughs> what, I feel like I feel like for the past two verses, Eminem is just like built up and up and up and up. And then just like at the very end, he just either hits the cringiest delivery or vocal inflection or he's just like, my heart's not in this really, honestly. <laughs> okay all right hey eminem eating butt is the new wave okay Eat <laughs> you got to check the twitter man eating booty is 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 wh where uh culture has has gone currently you're you're on you're on that you're on that old wave everybody's on the new uh eating booty wave a cut okay looks like we're getting cuts between all the all the verses which i, I think is a little a little annoying but i i appreciate the breather you know i guess we do need some breathers in the midst of this <laughs> that that staccato is is really like what i dislike so much about eminem's delivery currently his flows and everything used to be so much more slick and smooth and i don't know why it is he's delivering like this. I mean, it, it could partially be because he's just trying to sound as angry as possible. And I just don't get what the selling point of that is. Like, sure, Eminem has had some great tracks in the past where he sound pissed, you know, where he's been legitimately angry. And, uh, and when he does hit those moments, you know, on like his first few records, uh, it feels like a special spot. But nowadays, it's like everything he does has to sound as pissed and as angry as possible. And I, I feel like after a while, it just sort of becomes one dimensional and one note and just loses loses its flavor. You know, it, it just kind of loses the novelty. Like we're just hearing you piss 24 seven and on verses and in context where it doesn't even really make sense for you to be pissed. But uh, OK, uh, we'll we'll keep going. But. Again, I feel like this this performance continues to suffer from Eminem not really having an opponent in this one man rap battle. <laughs> defeat, defeat. That's uh, that's that's a cute that's a cute twist there. That's a cute twist. That was a cute twist. Feet bars. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, okay. All right. Okay, the okay. The uh, all right, the 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 Lacey Peterson references. <laughs> it's a little deep, but I, I I guess I guess I guess we'll go there. We'll go there. But we we will go there. <laughs> what what do you got against Reese Witherspoon? She, she's an angel. Why the why the Reese Witherspoon man? Why why do you gotta go to, why do you gotta go to Reese Witherspoon? Beating her with a broom in half. It's just you're 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 doing the most, man. You're just doing the most. I mean, I I love the MCs take seats like AMC theaters. Uh, the but really, man, there's just uh the 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 grossness of the the chained in in semen bar definitely uh. Uh, made me repeat my lunch. Uh, there is that. I can give you kudos on that. <laughs> but it just sort of seems like Eminem is just really trying to go in on this like violence beating. I'm shocking you with violence and beatings. And uh, I just uh, I just feel like Eminem is just lacking really, really like what back in the day, what what Marilyn Manson had and is is in a way lacking now. Just um very few targets, you know, very few great, interesting, legitimate targets for him to really just like kind of blow his lyrical load onto. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> R.I.P. bleed the shit. Still, I poop 
<laughs> R.A.P. Bleed the shit. Still and I poop pee it. It's a spillage sewage leak waist deep in feces. The syllable the syllables ooze fecal. They feel like renewed leases because my brain releases them. I mean, there in that handful of bars right there, I got to give it to Eminem in that the the rhyme scheme is just fucking it's like geometry. You know, there's so many angles to how he's kind of lining words and rhymes up. So, uh, you know, that that alone uh, it makes it interesting. Uh, <laughs> I guess it's just the poopy pee pee jokes <laughs> that just feel like, OK, man, you're just. <laughs> I, I know toward the, the beginning of this thing, they had like a little bit of a. Um, you know, a bit of a jab talking about, oh, you know, do the lyrical miracle in a swimming pool thing. You know, oh, yeah, just like spit some random bullshit that doesn't make sense, but sounds like really impressive. Uh, but I mean, in a way, that's like that's still kind of what he's actually doing. You know, I mean, you, you there's tons of ways you could say that, you know, you're all about rap. You bleed it. You live it. It's it's your life. I don't I don't really know if you need to go. I'm so much about rap. I pee pee and I poo poo rap. Yeah, like if you had an opponent in front of you, I'm not I'm not really I'm not really sure. <laughs> I'm not really sure if that would elicit like, oh, man, oh, my God. Oh, my God, you buried him. I mean, I, th I think they would just look at you fucking funny for just saying you pee pee and poo poo, poo poo the shit. But what, whatever, we're still going. We're going. <laughs> Okay. Why why was that one so short? That one was so, that was the shortest one so far. That was like that wasn't even half of the length of most of the verses so far. Not even half. So what how how that passed as an entire verse. And it's not like that one even itself had like a strong theme, stronger theme than any other verse so far. So what made that one worth sort of separating and just putting completely and isolating by itself? I'm not sure. But uh, I mean, I do commend Eminem on that last line that he saw fit to repeat. Uh, it's funny that he repeated it because when it first hit me, I was like, OK, that's actually like really sick. I'm killing the loose leaf, you know, like a notebook. And then uh, then going on to shake the trees again, get the leaves, you know, off the trees. So, you know, that, that's that's a funny and an interesting little connection. Um, and then I loved how, uh, you know, he sort of tied it up afterward with the get the rake line, but still, wh why was that? You couldn't bring that any further. Why was that so short? But, uh, <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Okay. Um, and why was that even shorter than the last one? I feel like this is just becoming less and less coherent as as we're going along and you know what that that triplet uh flow that he had i mean it was pretty sick it was not like your average triplet flow one two three one two three one two three one two three it wasn't like a three over a four it was like a literally a three four um which again you don't catch a lot of rappers rapping in three four uh so you know interesting uh groove, interesting uh, approach on the rhythm there, interesting rhyme scheme. Uh, however, he did kind of lose track of it at one point with that influence line, and he just kind of broke it up in a way that was really awkward. And then he tried to finish off the bars, totally lost his breath, and I think didn't really stick the landing here. So now we're at a point where, yeah, Eminem, sometimes the, the <laughs> maybe half the time, if I'm being very nice here and generous, the lyrical content is a little off or a little corny or something that you just kind of raise an eyebrow at. But now, technically, we're sort of seeing this fall apart a little bit. Uh, that track was so... Track, I'm talking about these like they're songs. That verse was so short and really didn't go anywhere. Why even leave it in here? Or why not connect it to something else? So, I don't know, let's let's keep going. Hopefully you don't just keep getting shorter and more nonsensical and messier from here. I can start a hate war too cuz I'd murder you straight bitches by turning the gaze on you. Okay. Um uh, Okay, that verse left me with a lot of weird feelings. For one, 
it had one of the worst and kicked off with one of the most non-existent flows on the entire freestyle so far. Um, Eminem didn't really start this verse off with a strong sense of rhythm like he has with most of the freestyles up until this point. And then when he finally did kind of get a grip of it, it just sounded like a flow similar to that of what he's been delivering for a lot of these verses thus far. So that alone kind of made it disappointing. Um, then going on from there, I, I'm just not really getting Eminem just like being completely unable to distance himself from this whole like, you know, gay faggot usage in his music because he'll uh, use the G word, but then he'll censor himself saying the F word. And I feel like a lot of the time Eminem doesn't really realize it's, it's not, it's not necessarily uh, the words you're using as much as it is what you're actually using them for or what you're saying with those words. You know what I mean? Um, you know, not to encourage, uh, you know, use of, uh, slurs of any kind, whether they be, uh, you know, against, uh, certain races or the LGBTQ community and so on and so forth. But I feel like Eminem in censoring himself, um, you know, you're still kind of using the word, you know, it's like, yeah, you, you've cut it out. We don't actually hear it. We don't hear the word, but we know what you're saying and we know what you mean to say. And we know and it's, it's not, it's not that we hear the word it's that we know we know the message that you're sending. It's the message that you're sending that people <laughs> don't really like. You know, it's not just like that you're using uh, a certain word or a certain slur. And uh, look, I mean, not everybody's going to agree with me on this topic. I'm sure there could be a, a very uh, a healthy debate on this in the comments or in another video or somewhere else. Uh, but in my opinion, um, whether Eminem uses a slur is not as big a deal to me as what he is using that slur to say. You know, is he using that slur to send a message that is maybe positive or makes some kind of point or addresses a societal issue or whatever? Or is he just using that slur but censoring it uh, and in doing so continuing to mock or poke at the community of people who that slur uh, has been used against in the past. You know, that to me is the bigger deal. That to me is the bigger question. You know, it's not whether or not I heard a word. It's what is the message, you know, behind your usage of that word? Ultimately, what are you trying to say? And I don't really think, you know, cutting or bleeping or reversing a word out of your verse really fixes that because the message is still the same, censored or not. So, it, which, which, uh, I, I think is something that's kind of lost on Eminem because with the whole Tyler, the creator debacle with his reference to him on Kamikaze, he seemed almost like, oh, well, I censored the word out. So it's like, it's cool, you know, but the thing is, everybody was still reacting to the fact that it wasn't that what you, <laughs> it wasn't the word you used. It was what you were actually trying to use the word to say, what you were actually saying with the word. And I, I don't think Eminem has gotten that. I don't think he understands that. Just about two minutes left of, of this thing. And the last uh, couple of verses, last several verses, have been least promising so far. So please, please, in the last few moments of this thing, pick it up. More poop humor, but I'm actually fucking with this verse quite a bit so far. Um, I love the references back to before the, the current meta of, of hip hop and the current uh, fashion trends and um, what Eminem is essentially uh, uh, saying about his past kind of catching up with him and, and him essentially uh, sort of fighting this endless battle of him trying to live up to the bar that was set by his previous material. Um, I think that's very true, and I think that's very smart, and I think he, he put it in an, in an interesting way there. No good, but rap something I'm too good for my own good at. Fuck a dog. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I know that made sense, but let me reprocess that. No good, but rap something I'm too good for my own good at. Oh, okay. That was good. That was good. That was smart. I love that. I love that. That was that was tight. That was tight. Let's, let's listen to that again, because that was a tight little line. No good, but rap something I'm too good for my own good at. 
Fuck adulthood, I'm a grown up brat. Where your cojones at? Mine are always being rogue. In fact, they're frozen. You ever seen a cul de sac? <laughs> I sold them. I just sold them back. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I thought some of what he was saying was funny there, but again, another moment here where why is this verse so much shorter than so many other verses here, especially toward the start of this thing? Again, another verse is like half as long as like the first few. And a really weird line to end on and a really weird finish for Eminem because it just seems like at this point he doesn't want to be there or something. He's like, I just sewed him back. Like he, he almost said that and walked off as if he was like Napoleon Dynamite or something. Just like saying something really ridiculous or throwing some tater tots into his pocket and just like walking off or whatever. It was just a, a really odd, you know, uh, look, if Eminem's going to cut at the end of a verse, because this is not one uninterrupted freestyle. If this is the format you're going to go with, <sighs> This is this is like the Eminem kickoff mini freestyle series. It's not like a single freestyle. But if, if Eminem is going to end and cut at the finish of every verse and sort of restart again with every new verse, the ending of every verse should be like a mic drop or a miniature mic drop. And so far, very few of the verses have ended with mic drops. Usually the ending line is like a bit of a puzzler in terms of like, why would you finish it there? <laughs> I know you could literally like rap forever. So what about ending it at that specific point is so important or so necessary, especially since like, I don't know, the past few verses, uh, or rather this, this past verse didn't sort of make, uh, I guess, you know, the, 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 the strongest case, you know, as, as far as like, oh, I'm in the past and I'm sort of a, a trying to live up to my past, but then fuck adulthood. And then what he went into there just kind of felt like a weird detour, a non sequitur. And then he just ended it uh, in terms of, you know, this theme, this idea of Eminem trying to uh, live up to the standard that he set thus far in his career. I think a lot more could be said than what he said here. It's kind of like he started a verse about that. And then he's like, uh, I kind of just want to end it here. So I'm just going to say some funny shit, make a ball joke, make a scrotum joke, and then just bam, I'm out. So yeah, I'm again, becoming increasingly disappointed with these, these mini verses, uh, the more we dive into this thing. Uh, from what I understand, this is the final one, one minute left of this video. So let's, uh, let's stomach it. So I pack a toast so fat when I lay it flat, it's like a yoga mat. <laughs> Make a bitch think. Okay, that was that was kind of funny. That was kind of funny. So difficult to rap. <laughs> In the prophylactic, it overlaps it. So I pack a Trojan so fat when I lay it flat, it's like a yoga mat. Again, rhyme scheme there. And uh, one of those moments where Eminem, despite the, the I'm angry delivery, I feel like this is a, a line back in the day that a younger Slim Shady would have like dropped with a bit of levity in his voice. So the, the comedy would have been there, you know, would have been like, oh, you know, kind of line. But But now it's like, you know, he's delivering it as like the most angry, hardest fucking bar you've ever heard. And it's granted, it's good. It's funny good. It's not like you're embarrassing some, you know, rap battle opponent in front of you good. It's like a yoga man. Make a bitch <laughs> think she's in a room. His, his friend in the studio laughed at that one too. And it is a funny line. It is a, fu it is a legitimately funny line. Oh. That's a smart one. Your lead singles are my bonus tracks. I like that. Oh, that was a good ending. That was actually one, <laughs> was actually one of the few mic drop ending lines on these verses. I'm so fly when I walk, my ears pop. That was that was a good finisher. That was a good finishing line. Oh, and I'm just playing, ladies. You know I love you. Just, just freshen his breath up. That 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 had its high points. That had its funny spots. You know, it, it did have uh, its quotables. 
but once more, I'm just, I, I feel like Eminem, the quality of his content is just plagued by a lackluster delivery that I, I don't think he really needs to continue with. It's just like really a, a horrid idea that he continues to pen him, that he continues to pen himself into, uh, despite it not really working, despite it not really being functional. I feel like a lot of Eminem's frustration and anger is, uh, overused. It's misguided. It's mistargeted, whatever you want to say it is. Um, I, I think that, uh, uh, again, the the personality, the levity, and um, the dynamics of of Eminem, as far as like emotion and delivery, uh, is a little lost at this point in his career. Certainly, the guy still knows rhyme schemes, and he still has flow, and uh, there there's still uh, an, an amazing an amazing intricacy to a lot of what he's doing, but. Um, I, I still think that there's uh, something in, in the delivery method that's really just kind of missing and lost and uh, a little misplaced. So those are those are my ultimate thoughts on this 11-minute Eminem kickoff freestyle. I'm going to leave it at that. Hopefully you guys uh, had fun watching this along with me. Uh, hopefully you're having a good day. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Eminem kickoff freestyle forever.